Hello guys and welcome to Idle Hands. My name is Sergio and I will be your guide through the campaign. Alright, so let's continue our journey into defeating the enemy. Now the tip of the day is try lowering the land below waterline in order to consume less mana. The destructive ambition. Hello old furling. The net is finally closing on the enemy. But their strongest defenses still stand between us and victory. You must remove them from this land before the final battle can be fought. The enemy also has knowledge of meteors and volcanoes, so watch out. Expand your village quickly so that you can generate enough mana to fight back. Right, you heard the, the, the old furling. So let's start working on our economy. I will start by making a lot of wood can wood cutters all right let's make a farmer as well because we need to keep a balance between um the production of other resources and the food production yes because uh having too many peasants require more and more food so it's good to have farms all right i just need uh, more Four links, and uh, we will be able to generate more mana. And after we generate more mana, imagine the beautiful things we can build together. All right, here we have the iron stone. All right, let's let's bring this this all uh, this entire land to. A new level oh we have oh my god guys we have blacksmiths here I mean we have iron here we could make use of this of course we will we will lose that wood camp or not we don't lose it oh uh, yeah what I just did was pointless allow me to Yeah, I'm an idiot. It's official. So let's make a farm. We cut a farm, a wood cut a farm. All right. The bad, the sad part is that they will make the, all those buildings around the iron. Which I don't want them to. I need some blacksmith. Badly. I want uh, to have near the iron. I want to have the blacksmith. Not the regular buildings like farms or wood camps. Okay, it's time to strike. I just made that for a link. Hopefully he will build his uh, blacksmith close to the iron. Beautiful. Because the closer, the closer the the building is to the iron, the production is going to be bigger. And this is what we are aiming for. The blacksmith requires six wood. I only got five. All right, give me one more piece of wood, please. All right, there you go. Now, the more iron you have, you will be able to create more units, and the more units you have, the stronger you will be. All right, we generate a lot of uh, mana because we have uh, a lot of followers. Oh yeah, let's make let's turn them into woodcutters. Let's make some farmers as well. Things are going well for us at this point. There are some enemy woodcutters. I don't like them. They shouldn't be around here. All right. This is our land and we expanded quite a lot. Yep, beautiful. Uh, 
With the current amount of wood I have, I can only make farmers. And, well, let's make some soldiers as well. Because from what I've seen... Oh, nice. From what I've seen, the enemy already gathers iron, meaning they might have troops. Yeah, they have one, one soldier at least. So we should be prepared for any, any kind of interaction with the enemy. But guys, keep in mind that we have this powerful abilities, the meteor and the volcano. So imagine the... Um, the destruction we can deal. Imagine how destructive we can be. My soldiers, my soldier is already attacking uh, the enemy woodcutters. The enemy army is attacking us already. Let's make another soldier. Of course, guys. The soldier will come. And we will uh, hit him. Yeah, let's hit him. Or not. Let's destroy some buildings, actually. Now, destroying the blacksmith and two farms is quite a strike. It's quite a blow. Okay, let's see what else we have. Let's make another priest. Let's make, let's make another farm. The enemy will attack from this side, so let's uh, send our soldiers there. Now, guys, if you want to grow some trees, you just put some rain somewhere, and trees should be growing. Yeah, at least this is what I've heard from those basic tips that we got. It's not working. Poor me. War, it looks like there are some trees around here. Okay. We need another blacksmith. Oh my god. Bam. I just killed two enemies with the... Um, with the lightning ability. How beautiful. Okay, I don't like that sound. That sound signifies trouble. I hope you are aware of that. We are in trouble. All right. Looks okay to me. Let's use the rain ability here. Maybe trees will grow. Who knows? At least this is what I've heard. From my basic knowledge. That should work. Let's make two more soldiers. It looks like we, we need them. Too many enemies are coming. Towards me. Yeah. I should attack the enemy though. What my people need right now is access to these trees. Let's see. Let's make one more farmer. Although this might be a mistake. I need soldiers right now. Let's destroy this building. I don't think the lightning ability is uh, capable of um, destroying a building from one blow 
But it can harass the enemy though. Which is good. Good enough for me. Alright. We are getting more wood or something. Let's see. Let's use the rain ability and trees will grow faster. I guess. I hope. Very cloudy today. Yeah, trees are growing, guys. What do you say about this? It's a beautiful game, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. The trees are growing. And I'm gonna get so rich. In the resources, of course. Another priest is on the way, and I will be able to make use of those two powerful abilities, the volcano and the meteor. Of course, I will just wait until I can make a second temple. Alright, I don't like that. Let's use the rain ability more and more. And let's say more. All right, I will make another priest. And from now on, all I have to do is soldiers because I've reached the limit of pre uh, the, of uh, I've reached the limit of um, priests, uh, blacksmiths, farmers, and woodcutters. Oh, and look at that! I just have to rebuild. Thanks to my enemy. Oh. But I will, I will enjoy every moment when I will be using my abilities inside his village. Oh boy. You can't, you can't even imagine the joy I will have. Alright, I just need one more piece of wood to make another... Last night, okay. Let's go inside the enemy base and let's see what can we destroy. Do you see this entire field here? Let's make a volcano right here and let's see the damages we will do. Do you see it? Do you even see how much damage we caused? Oh my. He will really hate me. I will use this ability two more times and the enemy will just be crying, begging for forgiveness. Oh wait, the enemy is attacking me inside my base. That's the biggest mistake they can make. Let's destroy this. By this I mean uh, the blacksmith, the wood, ca the wood camp, and uh, that tent that belonged to the soldiers. All right, let's use the rain ability here, here, and let's see, here. Oh yeah, he used the meteor ability against me. around this side and so I lost one priest the woodcutters oh. that's okay don't hate them too much but you show guys how powerful that ability is let's use the earthquake belt to destroy these two farms and the wood camp yeah, and they are gone. They are gone. All right, let's spam more soldiers to reinforce the, the current soldiers that are attacking the enemy. Very beautiful. Now the enemy is under attack, meaning that 
they have to do something to defend themselves. Isn't that the right thing to do? When you are in such trouble. Okay, let's use the lightning ability. Oh boy. And we will use the earthquake ability to destroy these um, structures. These two structures. Okay. Let's do it. So, as you can see, guys, I'm using both the soldiers and the abilities that I have in order to reduce the borders of the enemy. To reduce his strength. Okay. Let's make four more soldiers and they will they they will reinforce the current uh, army that is sieging the enemy at this point. Hmm. I don't know what should I destroy. Let's destroy the blacksmith and the wood. Let's burn, uh, let's see, let's burn this guy. Okay. He should be dead. He's not dead. Although he should be dead. Uh, let's see. Let's use the rain ability to grow some more trees around our village. This way our uh, woodcutters won't be forced to tra travel all over the map in order to find some trees. Oh, somebody's using the earthquake ability against me. And I just lost one building. A blacksmith. How sad. All right, let's go today to the totem. Let's see the enemy around here. I think I will be able to use the earthquake ability to destroy two buildings. Three buildings to be more precise. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I will destroy only I destroyed three buildings with the earthquake ability. I never believed it, but I did it. Let's use the lightning ability against uh, those stands. Yeah, nothing can stand against the lightning ability. Only the building. Hmm, I have no more four links. It looks like the the army limit is twenty at this point. What else do we have? Let's burn this farm. Great. Oh, my furling is gonna die over there. Yeah, guys, keep in mind that disabilities can uh, can do damage to your own furlings as well. So be careful when you use them. You might uh, end up killing your own units. Now, if we check, if we we'll, if we look from the hill, we can see that there is a very good, very beautiful view. Especially if we look at our city. Let's see. Can an earthquake destroy? Okay, it will be able to destroy two buildings. Three buildings actually, three wood camps. How lovely! How lovely it is. This building must be destroyed and I must reduce the territory of the enemy. Alright, let's place the totem near the origin stone of the enemy. And this way, guys. This way, our entire army will go straight for the enemy origin stone. 
Look at this guy here. Let's strike him. Is he dead or something? He should be. Pretty weird. He is weak, although. He is dead, although. Okay, very nice. We are fighting common furlings. Basic furlings that have no... No armor, no weapon. It looks like we are victorious, guys. Once more. Congratulations. The enemy's outer defenses have fallen, opening the way to the enemy's homeland. Victory is in sight. I agree with you all for a link. So guys, thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope I was helpful. Anyhow, I wish you a great day. Take care. Bye bye.